Hey guys, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? So I'm here with another video in the same clothes and stuff, but I figured just film it, get it done while you're still in an okay mood to do any filming at all. So I'm going to try to make this friends fast. Friends? Fast. This is a birthday haul from my birthday was on Halloween. It is halfway through the month of November, so this is way late, but I kept pretty much all my friends together. Uh, my husband being the one who got me the most stuff, which I want to make a disclaimer or at least say this now so people don't think that presents are important. He is my husband and he just this year for some reason has been in a good mood and has overspoiled me. And not just me, but Christina, I can't tell you, we spent like almost $400 to $500 just on her birthday, her party, her presents, lunch outs, and all that stuff for her and her presents. So, this year, um, husband got a bonus, and that's why I got some, a ton of presents, because he was just in the mood to give. This is not a bragging video, I just like watching videos and seeing what people got. I'm the nosiest person I've ever met. So, if you're nosy like me and you want to know what I got for my birthday, then keep on watching. And this is also a video to say thank you to the people who got me gifts for my birthday. You didn't have to. You did it anyways. And I appreciate it. So, Paula, thank you for the gift card to my dad. I got a gift card as, well, a check. But I used it just at Walgreens. So, thank you so much to my cousins John, Anna, and my Aunt Colleen. And cousins, and it's all of them. So to everyone, and anyone whose name wasn't mentioned, you know you got me present to my dad and Patty. God dang it. I just can't get everybody's name in here. I have family, I, my parents, my aunts, cousins, hubby. I, I don't know if I missed anyone, but I want to say thank you to everyone who got me presents and thought of me this year. My sister-in-laws, Rachel and Rebecca as well. I'm trying to remember everybody. So I appreciate everything that I got this year. And as I said before, you don't have to buy me presents for my birthday or for Christmas. But when you do, I am appreciative and I want to say thank you. So let's just start, gart, gart, get started. This is why I don't do YouTube. I can't speak. <sighs> okay, so I will do from the first things I got, I guess I'll show you my stuff that I got from my husband, which started out with the ColourPop haul. So, you guys know, or at least some of you guys might know, they had the My Little Pony collab, and they came out with the palette. And this is supposed to be like Gen 1 or Gen 2, possibly Gen 2, I think, inspired. So not by the ones that are out right now. And that is the front, and that is the inside, and I have not used this enough. Since my birthday, I've only used it like three times, and it's not because the palette is bad, it's because of my anxiety and depression. I don't want to do things. And I also got this ColourPop palette, it's called Cute AF, and the inside. So I did get those, and also from ColourPop, I, they have the crystal sets out. And I got those, and I used those quite a bit. This one seems to be shaking out, but I got the the aquamarine crystal set because this was good for dry skin. So this is a setting spray, right? I don't know. It says crystal setting spray, so setting spray for after you put your makeup on. I don't know. I always put it on before sometimes. I don't know. This is their highlighter, which is really strong. I love it. And then they have a I think this is just like a lip balm, sometimes a color changer. I don't know. My kids smashed it. But it is a crystal one. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Unicorn Tears in that sense. So I got that. Oh, I have fun putting everything away. Woohoo! And the great thing about these is they're glass, so they're not some cheap, crappy plastic. So if you're wondering why these are pricey, the sets. It, that has something to do with it. It's the glass. I guarantee you the glass packaging has something to do with it. That was from ColourPop. I am saving the best present for last that my husband got me 
that I wanted to scream, but everything in me was tired and cranky, and I had a reason for that. And if you watch my other video on where I've been, you know I'm pregnant, so that was, I was extremely moody. <laughs> was so happy but I did not go scream jump up and down and stuff because I did know it was coming so I did get my first no technically my second ever haul from Lush but I only have one thing to show at the end of this any pictures I took from when I got my presents I'll just put them at the end in case there's anything you missed out on I got two bubble bars right bubble bombs bubbles I don't know they make bubbles you stick them in the water and they make bubbles <laughs> those I don't have anymore but I still have my little tiny thing of snow, snow fairy shower gel, which I haven't even used, to be honest, because I got this because everybody said it's the best scent of life, and honestly, it might be a pregnancy thing, but it smells so bad to me. So bad. I don't like it. So I've been avoiding it, but since I bought it and my husband spent the money, I just got soap all over me. I'm going to use this for six minutes and I need to speed up. So I got three things from Lush. Two of the things were already used. Um, from my mother-in-law, while they're here, I got a gift cards back in Money Works and I got candles and I caught them when everything was on sale. So I was able to get two and I wanted to get candles I've never tried before. So, um, two and then I bought one, which the one I bought is out there. It's the, not, it's a cherry blossom uh, type one that is supposed to only come out for spring. The scent was not as good as the original. Very disappointed with the scent. But I picked up the Spice Apple Toddy. Because there's everybody talks about that one. I smell like pine and something else. And I can't. This is uh, cinnamon, clove, and apple brandy. I, I smell the pine and it smells kind of like it has a berry in it somewhere not very apple-y now that I look at it and then the one that I hear about every year in every Bath and Body Works candle haul I've ever seen tis the season this is the first year I've ever purchased it I've already burned it has a nice throw um but my smell might be off because I'm pregnant but oh god I smelled that way too close that was a bad idea okay this is I don't know why I did that um this one is rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And when I just sniffed it just now, I got the cedar wood really strongly. But the first time I smelled it, I got the red apple and the cinnamon. So, oh my god, that was just a blast in my face. So that was from my gift card to Bath and Body Works. Um, my dad and my pat, and my dad and my patty gave me a check for my birthday. So I went to Walgreens. I was looking for some of the new wet and wild stuff, but for some reason the Walgreens in my area, they just don't carry them anymore. So I got other things. I went to two of them. The first one I stopped at, I picked up this lip paint, which I saw Laney Bot use. Um, you basically put it on, it starts matte, and then when you put the glitter on, it leaves that really cool sparkle. This is the only color I was interested in. This is the exact color I saw Laney Bot use. I haven't even opened this yet to try it. But I saw her use it. I saw it. It looked good on her pale skin. I was like, I gotta have that. And then, it's all over my computer, but I can't quite show you right now. And the booklet itself fell apart. But I got these Lisa Frank stickers. I am obsessed with Lisa Frank. I love it. I'm gonna roll around in it. I still have a ton of stickers left. But as you can see from some of the ones missing... I put them all over my computer and my makeup vanity, and yeah, I have stickers everywhere. So, I got this. I love this. Lisa Frank. That Lisa Frank life. And then I got another unicorn to go with my other unicorn buddy that I have. This one is, um, I think this one is either Faith or Victoria. I name all of my unicorns. My big pink one is Elizabeth. Um, that one is and I think this one is Victoria I have to go look back in my memory I have to go dig out the dust I got something I needed I got a new hairbrush because mine was broken missing bristles and stuff this was affordable I was like it's a brush it's a paddle brush it's a square I'm getting it my hair was down the hair when I bought all this I chopped it again because I don't know why but I want long hair but when I get long hair it irritates the crap out of me 
I can see my stuff on the bed. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's that. Then I picked up stuff that I wanted to use for Halloween. I was going to be, I was a Lisa Frank cat, which is why you see these ears. I'll explain that later. This is all from uh, my check from my dad and my, 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 my patty. <laughs> So I got this holographic glitter, and this is holographic, although it won't, it won't really pick that up too much on camera. Can you see the hollow? I see it. And then the Walgreens, that's next. So the Walgreens, what is with my hair? Can you not? The Walgreens, I have had Nick stuff out. I was like, when does the Walgreens sell Nick stuff that not went wild? What the heck? So I did get more of the Vivid Sprites liners. I got the green and, and the yellow. And they didn't have the blue. So I was like, well, you guys suck. Because I really, really don't have a blue liquid eyeliner. I did. I had a hard candy one. But that was gone. I think that's everything I got. I think I paid for some toys for the kids, maybe. Using my the check as well. <sighs> my juice box. Okay, so I have an item that I'm missing. I might have a picture of me in it somewhere. But it's currently in my clean clothes, and I have I don't feel like digging it out. But I got from Hot Topic, besides these cat ears from Hubby, is a Lisa Frank shirt. And there was a sale, and then I have my birthday thing. And because of that, I basically got the cat ears for free. So happy. These were part of my Halloween costume for my Lisa Frank. My, what is, is my hat always been crooked? Is anyone, no, no? Can I, can I, can I not? No, I give up, okay. So I got these cat ears. But I was looking again for the cat ears I originally bought from them, but they were gone. There were none left. Ha ha! Another juice box. But they don't have any left. But I was shocked. And pleasantly surprised to see that Hot Topic has was selling a Lisa Frank shirt. And not just any Lisa Frank shirt, but the Lisa Frank unicorn shirt. You know I wasn't going to leave that store without that shirt. And like I said, I got a good deal on everything. So H Hubby saves himself some money because it was my birthday month and stuff. And some stores like Sephora, Ulta, which I didn't get my birthday gift from Sephora this year. Which is dumb because they had a tart gift and I didn't get it. Because I'm dumb. But yeah. I'm going to stop topping. Stop topping. I'm going to stop talking. I'm rambling on. So, I got two of these. This this next collection, these are from my cousins and stuff from Minnesota. I think I have everything except some of the Halloween stuff that I packed away with my Halloween stuff so I can have it when fall Halloween comes around again. It's packed away. I feel like I'm drooling. But I had one. Hubby got me one. And then my cousins, John and Hannah, ended up getting me another one. Of the EV headband set. And I have been waiting to take mine out. My kids stole the one that my cousins got. This is the one my husband got me. But, so they have one and I have one. So they also got me, it's in pieces, a Lego EV that sits on the Pokeball, and my son stole it from me, and I'm, it's in pieces right now, <laughs> needing to be put back together, and part of the Pokeball's missing. So they got me that too, and I don't remember if I took a picture of any of it. So, there's that. My cousin John, in particular, picked up two Rosario Vampire um, manga books. I never thought about buying a manga, but I did watch the series on Netflix, and I think the first time I watched it, my husband downloaded it somehow. I'm going to slide over here and put it back. <laughs> Putting it back on my shelf. So my husband John got me that, and they got me Pocky. And as you can see, that would be empty because my kids stole it, all of it. It was gone in five seconds. This, I didn't even try it. It was cookies and cream. Didn't really get to try it. Um, it's chocolate anyways, and I'm not really big on chocolate, but I really wanted to try try it anyways. But my kids stole that. So that was gone. I saved the box to show you. Because uh, otherwise I was going to forget the flavor. 
They also got me this one, which I have not opened and have never tried before. This is matcha green tea, green tea cream. It's a very popular flavor in the flavor in Japan is matcha. I see it used in a lot of things like ice cream, and obviously it's a tea and like mochi and other stuff. They use this a lot. This excuse me is extremely popular, so I hope I like it. Because if I ever go to Japan, it's going to be one of the number one sweet things I'm going to run into out there. And then this is just another version of strawberry hockey sticks. They're shorter, and I think they've got more cream on them, or at least the picture makes them look like. My daughter just tried to steal this one from me today when I pulled it down. I've kept these hidden, and I've kept them safe. But my kids are trying to rampage. I'm going to go hide them if I can find an empty drawer to hide them in. I'm going to hide them. Oh, right. I'm so stupid. My dad asked, my dad and Patty got me some, well, I think the colored pencils might have been for the kids, but, like, they got me an adult coloring book as well, which is buried under piles of junk. I am so unorganized. And then I have an extra large one, like, huge adult coloring book. So that was from them as well for my birthday. I'm sure I've missed out on so many things. But yeah, hockey sticks for my cousins. That's that's where we're at. And I bet you guys just love staring at nothing, don't you? Oh, and also he had two packs of highlighters and I stole one for myself. My daughter took the other one. And then I'm going to put my EV ears in here. Because if I don't hide them, my kids will steal them. And then I'll be ev -less. Then that's not acceptable. I'm sure my aunt and them, my cousins, picked out this really beautiful pearl bracelet with some pink gems, which actually reminds me, like, makes me think of October. Pink gems, too. That's a bracelet. It's been sitting up. I haven't even got to wear it because I was holding it somewhere so I could have it for the video. And I haven't got to use it yet. And the only Halloween thing I did leave out, well, this and one other thing is... Some sockies is always good. These are like Valentine's Day socks. Now that I think about it. These are going to be my favorite. And these are going to be my favorite. Around Halloween time and Valentine's Day, I've got sockies now. Be jealous. And then they picked me up a cup. And it's plastic. And it looks like, um, what are those cups called that you usually pick up at the store? They're not as popular anymore, or at least... They were around back when I was little, and I don't see them as much anymore. Now everybody just makes them hard. But this one says, Welcome to the Fabulous Las Vegas. So at least I know where they got it, and it says Happy Halloween. So I have a hard cup that I can use now for Halloween. And I just have a drawer that is a whole mess of stuff now. Because I don't know if you guys know, but my... If you watch my old makeup videos, the ones where I did the uh, tour of everything... Hall tour makeup collection videos. I had the ni Alex Niner unit from IKEA, right? And I told you that half the drawers were taken up with my clothing. Well, I finally have my dresser back. All my crafting stuff is packed up. Well, um, fifty percent of it's packed up. Everything that was in the dresser is packed up. I have my dresser back. It's being used as a dresser for clothes. So now I have empty drawers in my Alex drawer unit, and of course now I'm just piling them up foot stuff. So, um, that was everything. This is another 20 minute video, and I'm not good at short videos, so you might as well get over that right now. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I personally like these kinds of videos because I'm a nosy busybody. So until next time, bye! You'll see me again in like 8 months. Maybe a year. <laughs> Bye. I'm a complete and utter butt head. Butt nugget, butt head. I don't know what this PC here is doing. Stay that in. I completely forgot to show you the number one main present I got for my birthday from my husband. The one thing that I waited a month for. It came at the beginning of the month. I had to wait an entire month to open it. And for me, that's been torture.
I can't do the whole floor with him, but this is Sailor Moon's. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of this rod. In the English version, can you guys can you shush, shush, shush. In the English version, I think it's called the Spiral Moon Heart Love Rod, but I don't know if that's the same name they use in the Japanese version. I can't remember at the moment. But it is the Spiral Heart Rod. In the anime series from the 90s, this was this was rod number three that she got. And I think it goes the same way because the first technically rod, technical rod she had was the moon stick, which is more what we call the moon stick. Um, the little stick with the moon on it and the crystal would sit on it. And then after that, she got another one that's more round. I can't remember the name of for some reason, but this one I can remember is the spiral part moon rod. And then I also got these were on sale, so why did this fall out? No. How dare you? Stay. I let it open. Now I'm having problems with it. There we go. The moon chalice! This is the first object that she had that turned her into Super Sailor Moon. She first turned into it. Why are there fingerprints on this? I'm gonna kill somebody. And <laughs> she turns into Super Sailor Moon with this um, first before she gets the upgraded brooch from Pegasus. And on the back it's got two of the buttons that you can press. So that's that one does that, and and then I don't know how to work this. I have to ask my husband, but it's supposed to say crisis makeup, and then there's that. I don't know why it's doing this, and um. The bottom comes out for you to put the batteries in and to turn it off and on. And I just kind of left it on. What is that? What does that do? There's a button at the bottom of this. I don't know what it does. Um, I can't read the instructions as they're in Japanese and I can't read. So I'll have to figure out. But when he first demonstrated this to me, they did say the spells. I just can't remember which one does what. This is making this video so long. Probably got some music. And you can turn it off. And this just makes the sound. But I could have sworn these talked the first time he did it, but I'm going to have to ask him how to do that. Um, Sailor Samara, or whatever her name is, has proper reviews on these. I don't really do that type of thing. There's that. And. It's not the actual proper cuff for her brooch that goes with the heart rod, but it is a mirror. And now you can see my messy room. So it has um, the heart design on the inside, and it doesn't do anything. It's no sound. It's just a compact mirror that you can get from Hot Topic, but he got this one off of the same site where he got everything else. So I got Sailor Moon stuff for my birthday and we all know how I feel about that. So now before I make this video any longer, I'm sorry. Also the stand for my rod is up there because that's where I keep it sitting. So I hope you guys enjoyed and see you later. Bye!